Hello everybody and welcome to the Sword Art Online The Movie Ordinal Scale Review. And uh, uh, this is the third time I watched this movie before I did this review. And uh, it's still good. It's still good. Every time I watch it, it's good. I keep thinking, you know, maybe maybe I'm not going to enjoy it because, you know, maybe I'll see more flaws. No, I just see more things I like. So I guess I'll start with the the visuals. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love the... Like the sword effects, like the lighting, I love it. I love, I'm I should probably point out this is not this is pretty biased because I really like Sword Art and I really like this movie. So if you if you're a hater and you came to see someone like tear it apart, you're not gonna get that. I, I will say some things I don't like because I'm you know I could I can point out flaws despite being a, a raging fanboy. So you know that's good. Yeah, visuals really nice. Love it. Uh, sound design. I also I also love even if the balance I don't know if it's just my speaker but the balance was really off it was like this when I saw it in the cinema as well like the sound effects and the music were way way louder than the speech I don't know if that's just my spe speaker settings but yeah I had to like play volume control which was great uh story again I'm not going to not going to talk spoilers immediately I'm going to talk about spoilers in a like little bit at the end after I give my grade and you know all that story if you like Sword Art Online you will like the story like probably because it is it is very Sword Art like if you don't like Sword Art you're not gonna you're gonna be like what the hell's going on that's stupid which you know I can understand it's not it's not Sword Art's never been realistic so I don't I don't go into this movie expecting that expects to have like something that might not make a lot of sense but it's you know you can have a good time uh, in this movie, there are a few new characters introduced. There is the professor, whose last name I don't remember, and research is hard. Uh, who, who is, you know, he's he's a professor. He created the Orgma, and uh, I think he also created Ordinal Scale. I think they he created both. Yeah, he must have. And uh, yeah, so he's like a driving force in the plot. There's also Ag, who is a top player in Ordinal Scale, who is basically like the rival character. And then you have Yuna, who is a uh, augmented reality idol she's like an ai side note very quickly what is it with a lot of anime movies and just throwing an idol in there is it just for music it's probably just for music if i was to imagine like i know index did it this did it there's like there's others as well that i just can't think of right now but yeah happens a lot just a brief observation so yeah this this time when i watched it time absolutely flew by like love the fight scenes in this movie most characters get time to shine, I, except Suguha. She just doesn't show up until, like, she very throughout the movie. Like, she has a ordinal scale like design, avatar like design. Like, you could see it. It's on one of the key arts, but she just never uses it in the movie. So, I don't know if that was like she was originally going to have a bigger part, and then they just decided to do something else with her, or or what. But just a little weird thing. But, uh, yeah, like, I really like this movie because it, it has a, you know, it has a good beginning, middle, end. Like, here's, here's where the end starts. Here's the big problem in the... If I had a problem with it, I would say maybe the beginning stretches on for, like, a long time. Because, like, you... It takes a while to, like, set up the ordinal scale and, like, here's how these characters relate to this and here's what the new characters, how they relate takes a lot of time to do that but I didn't think it was too long and I feel like it was done well and it was intriguing so like but some people could get you know turned off by that uh overall I would give this movie a solid eight or nine out of ten I want to give it nine but I feel like some people will be mad at me if I do that so I'm gonna give it a high eight but yeah for what it is for a sort out movie I don't think for a first sort technically first sort out movie they could have done it much better so like I, I think they will they will make more sort out movies like just from a personal that's what i think they're gonna do so i yeah i don't know if they're gonna be as good as this one but uh hopefully they make more and they're still good so if you're leaving now because you don't want to hear spoilers but the movie's been out a while so i doubt people will leave uh then bye but uh see ya Okay, after that brief pause, like very brief pause, like less than a second. Uh, back, we're going to do spoilers uh, talking. Spoiler, talk about spoilers. So, 
the professor's daughter, who was also called Yuna, died in SAO. And uh, then they're trying to recreate her as an AI using the memories of other SAO survivors, which they're stealing with the Augma. Like I said, not realistic, but it, you know, it's in, it's in universe. It does make sense because matey boy, Sugo, Sugo, remember him? He was doing something to mess with memories and personalities as well. So, and this guy was actually his teacher, the Professor Shigemura. So, it does make sense that he would have the ability to do that. Like, in-universe, even if they don't explain it. And uh, A.G., how he relates to all this is he's... He is... He was Yuna's boyfriend in SAO slash husband. Like, they were together in SAO, so when she died, he wants to bring her back as well. And I feel like the two of them as villains, they're very interesting, because... I don't hate them. Like, I can understand. Obviously, they can't go around killing all the people and getting taken their memories. But I I do understand their motives. You know, that's the best type of villains, in my opinion. They either have to be understandable and, like, you know, I could see their point. Or they have to be, like, irredeemably evil. You can't take a middle ground. Middle ground villains are lame. So, yeah. A lot of this movie is also dedicated to them just fighting bosses in ordinal scale like it's it's good it's good it's good visually but plot progression wise Klein also gets his arm broken I completely forgot about him uh yeah that that was a pretty good like early on they established that Aegis a cool dude I, by cool I mean like he's strong and tough and stuff not necessarily a cool like he was one of the most interesting characters of the movie for me but I don't feel like they did enough with AI Yuna like, I feel like she could have played a bigger part. Because they, they did open up, like, she's like, oh, she's interested in things other than seeing. That's not meant to be what she's doing. But they don't really elaborate on it much. Like, the professor says, like, one line to explain it, and then it's just never brought up again, and it's near the end. So, like, I would have liked them to do more with that, if that's, like, one thing I would have wished. Like, do more with you. And I'm also kind of confused as to... Because there's, like, two AI Unas. Like, I'm confused. Are they the same person, or are they separate? They don't really make it too clear in the movie. I know, like, I could do extra reading, but if I have to do extra reading to it, figure something out, it's not presented too well. So, you know, it's not, again, it's not a big deal. Also, that last fight in the bloody Ruby Palace, when I watched that in the cinema, I was blown away. And this time as well, I was like, how long do you reckon that took to animate? Just with all the lights and all the, it's fast paced, very, very good. Like, I, I'm trying not to fanboy, but it's not working, so I'm just going to go all in. Like, Silica even gets a part in the movie. Like, she, like, actually plays a role, which is, you know... I like Silica, so that's good. She, uh... She basically... She, it's, she thinks that she's at fault for Asna losing her memories, so... It's... It was a, It wasn't... Like, she doesn't get a massive role, but... And it just kind of, like... Teeters in the background. It's not really ever at the forefront... But it's, you know, I still enjoyed it. And that's, maybe just because I like her. If it was someone else, I probably wouldn't care as much. Like, the other side characters, like, just kind of show up and do cool things every so often. But uh, it's it's a lot of Kirito and Asuna. And then AG on the other side. And the Professor. And uh, AI Yuna. Or uh, Ghost Yuna. I, I don't know how to d differentiate them. AI Yuna could be idle. Ghost Yuna is the, the, the not idle. I think that makes sense. Uh, there's also like some some like references like Fuka Zero is mentioned at one point by uh, Dine, when I'm like, ha, huh, alternative didn't even have an anime yet, so that was that was you know just cool things like that. As you can tell, I very much enjoyed this. If you like Sword Art, you've already seen the movie, so I don't even need to to keep going. But maybe if you if you don't like Sword Art so much, you might watch it and you might enjoy it as well. Because honestly, it. I don't want to say it's better, but it might be better than a lot of the first two seasons, in my opinion. Uh, season three is still ongoing, so I can't, you know, uh, compare it to that yet. But uh, yeah, that's been this review of the movie for the Sword Art. Like I said, I think they might make more at some point, and I hope they do. And uh, if you subscribe, you can see weekly Sword Art Online analysisation reviews every week. Dude, I didn't even plan that, it just came to me, so that's a good thing. Subscribe for that, and also, I'll see you in the next video, whatever you decide to, to come and watch. Bye, guys.